Hey guys, what's up? It's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my chinchilla midnight, telling you a little bit about her, and then giving you guys a cage tour. Okay, bye bye. So I'm basically just going to be showing, telling you a little bit about her and then show you guys her cage. It's going to be a really short, simple video. I just wanted to get this up there so you guys could kind of see what a real proper chinchilla cage should look like. In my opinion, this is a very good cage and one that you guys should try to mock yourselves. Um, definitely, if you guys want to send me photos of your chinchilla cages and I could react to them, I would love to do that. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see a video like that. But that is not today's video. Today's video is a chinchilla cage tour and you guys getting to know my chinchilla. So... Without further ado, make sure you are subscribed and give this video a like. Also, follow me on all my social media, especially my pet page, Kaylee Chico Pets, so you get updates of all my pets and see photos and videos of them and all that jazz. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is my chinchilla midnight. Hello. She is very up right now, which is really weird because it's only 11.30. She's normally like in her sleeping mode right now, but she's very up and active right now. Hello. So I have just a list of questions here that I'm going to answer for you guys, just like basic questions. So the first one is, what is her name? Her name is Midnight. Um, and number two is, how do you come up with her name? Does it have any sig special significance? So I got her around Halloween. I got her on um, October 27th. So I got her near Halloween and I just went with Midnight because she is Midnight Black, as you can see. And also it's just kind of like spooky, like Halloween vibe. So that's why I went with that. What is Midnight's gender? She is a female. Come here. Can you chill on my shoulder? Thank you. How old is Midnight? Mid Midnight? <laughs> Midnight. Midnight is eight months old. Uh, when is Midnight's birthday? Her birthday is February 5th, so it is coming up very soon. What kind of chinchilla is Midnight? She is a TLV Ebani, which, or Ebani, I think is how you say it, which means a touch of violet Ebani. When did I get midnight? I got midnight October 27, 2020. Where did you get midnight? I got midnight from Bobby's chinchillas. Her link will be down below. She has super awesome chinchillas. Chinchillas from $200 all the way up to $2,000. She has a wide variety of chinchillas, so definitely if you're thinking about getting a chinchilla and you're serious about it, please go check out Bobby's chinchillas. How much was she? She was $500 plus uh, shipping was $300, so she was $900. And I picked her up from um, Chicago Hair Airport, cargo, and took her home. And then what, last question is what is her diet? So she eats Timothy hay, orchard grass hay, um, oat hay, and then for a treat she eats botanical hay because you don't want to feed that all the time because it's very high in calcium. She also gets two tablespoons of pellets a day and then I give her little treats, uh, like one treat just like the Timothy Oxbow um, treats. I'll put a picture of what they look like right here, but I feed her these sometimes, not every single day, maybe like two, three times a week. But um, yeah, that is a little um, get to know midnight. So now we're gonna move on to the cage store. I'm gonna film this part on my iPhone just cause it'll be easier to move around while I have the light up uh, to show you guys her cage. So I'm gonna go do that. So here's her cage. All right guys, so midnight is over there chilling in that corner while I was filming. She just ran to that corner. I don't know why or what, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's very adventurous right now. So this is what her cage looks like. This is just an overview. This is my ring light. But this is just an overview of her cage. This is the Ferret Nation Model 182 cage. I absolutely love this cage. They also have the Critter Nation cage, which is a little bit more expensive than this one. But I really like this one just because of the um, horizontal or the vertical bars. And then I just like the spacing. So I really love this cage. I will put the link to the Amazon. I'll put the link uh, to this cage in the description below from Amazon. All right, so let's start off on the bottom. So these little cage guards right here, as you can see, these right here, these were um, from um, Etsy, and I believe they were 150 no, $190 uh, for these. And because they are handmade, they're on both levels and on the um, doors, and this basically just helps any bedding or poop not get out because um, I know uh, the chinchilla notebook, she doesn't have these, and she has fleece, and she does not have these, and I know she wants to get that. Them, but hello midnight 
but um she really wants these because a lot of poop gets on the floor and when i saw that before i got my chinchilla i was like i need scatter guards so bad so i purchased these from etsy um they also have a cheaper version on amazon it's by midwest it is the uh critter nation and the ferret nation poop guards but they're not as good as these but if you're just looking for a cheap little fix you could definitely use those Next up, we're starting here on the left. This is just her water bottle. This is the Oxbow 32 ounce water bottle. Um, I just have the spring, the spring and the little thing right here attached to it. Um, and I absolutely love this water bottle. It drips a little bit. Um, as you can tell, the bedding is a little wet right here, but not too much. Um, I absolutely love this water bottle. You really want to get one that's like drip proof because chinchilla should not be getting wet. Next up, we just have a little ledge right here. All these ledges that are in the cage are from Fluffy Feet Designs. Um, her Etsy shop will also be linked down below. So this is just one of them. I absolutely love this. Uh, she climbs up on here. Sometimes she'll just show in the water bottle. But she loves this little ledge here. Then we come down here to the hay rack. This is what it looks like. It's just uh, cut out little circles where she could pick out the hay like so. Um, and then you fill it from the top. Then in the middle, we have the chin spin. I absolutely love this wheel. Uh, she doesn't really use it much because she's still a little young, but when she gets older, she will definitely be using this wheel a lot. Uh, this wheel was $119.99. Next up in the middle, we have this hay feeder, also from Fluffy Feet Designs, and I wanted to get this one because of how big it is. It holds so much hay, and then she doesn't want to feel like standing on her hind legs to get this hay. She could just pick from here. So I got this. Next up, this is her little marble slab for when she gets a little hot and she wants to just chill on a cool stone. So I got her this from Menards. It was like $3.48. Next over here in the right, we have some more ledges and her food bowl. This just holds her Timothy pellets. Um, I absolutely love these pellets. They're one of the best brands you could get. It's from Oxbow. And again, these ledges are from Fluffy Feet Designs. Now we're moving up to the top. So this is my favorite part of the cage is this little hide. So she basically could just hide in here. Her little poop is in there. So she could hide in here, climb up on here, and then go through here and chill on this little like bridge area swing type thing. She also has another piece of tile right here. This one was, I believe, like $129, $199. And this is also from Menards. Next, you have these two little ledges right here. These are also from Fluffy Feet Designs. Again, her Etsy shop will be linked down below. They are pretty sturdy. And also, these are made of kiln pine um, wood, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will correct it on the screen. But that is what this is made from. Then if you come over here, you just have these like rectangle square ones where it leads up to here so she could get up here really nice. Then we have this little side ledge with some toys. These are just some hanging toys that are hanging like a pine cone, a ball, a little like sponge thing with some wood. And then this one's just some wood with some of that sponge material. Then this one over here is like this one. Um, it just has a hole in it where she could climb down to this one right here. And then you just have some scatter guards and some toys. This toy got included when I picked her up from Bobby Chinchilla. She included this. And then I got this Timothy toy. My bunny absolutely loves this. If you want to see my bunny um, in more videos, let me know down below. But this is her toy. And then I also got this Oxbow stick toy. Next, I want to talk about bedding. A lot of people think that this bedding is controversial. This is the Carefresh uh, paper bedding. A lot of people think this isn't safe for chinchillas because they could actually ingest it and it'll cause an impaction. But I talked to my vet. If you didn't know, I did work at a um, hospital, an animal hospital, and I talked to one of the vets. And they said that she's never seen that happen before. So, And this bedding is safe and you should use paper-based bedding because wood beddings are not really soft for their feet and can cause bumblefoot. So you really want to be careful when you're choosing the right type of bedding. If you want to be 100% safe, use fleece but if you're looking for a nice paper-based bedding carefresh would be the way to go she's never seen a problem with impaction before so she said that this is a very safe bedding all right guys and then that is the cage this is just another overview of everything so yeah all right guys so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed the cage tour and meeting my chinchilla midnight if you guys want to see more chinchilla related content make sure you do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know video ideas down below of what you would like to see more of and i hope you guys had a great halloween and i will see you in the next video bye guys say bye midnight bye 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 guys